Hey what's up guys Shabani from Austin Technology and let's take a look at the software features of the Moto G5 Plus. Starting off with the first feature, it is the gestures. Well, as you might be knowing, the Motorola devices comes with a lot of gesture features. So go to the Moto app, actions, then you can configure all the actions. First is one button nav. This is one of the best features. Well, if you are one of those people who don't like that nav bars, then now you can remove that and use the device with your fingerprint scanner. What you have to do is you have to swipe left to go back and swipe right to go to the recent section. And you touch it once, you can go to the home. It is gonna take time to get comfortable with this thing, but once you are, then your experience are gonna be pretty good. Coming to the next feature, it's chop twice for flashlight. Well, if you chop it or if you shake it twice, then your flashlight will enable automatically and you have to do the same to turn it off. Next is twist to capture. If you twist your device twice, then it will open the camera application, which is just an amazing feature. After that, you have swipe to shrink screen. So there might be chances that you have a small hand and if you don't want to use the device with two hands, then you can use this feature. By turning this feature on, if you swipe from your nav bar, your device screen will be made small. Well, as you can see over there, it's something around 2 to 3 inches and it's another great feature. If you want to go normal, just click anywhere on the black screen and you will get the 5.5 inch display back. Next is hold to lock. Well, previously Moto G4 Plus didn't have these features. That's the reason why the fingerprint scanner was bummer. But now with the Moto G5 Plus, you have a lot of features with this fingerprint scanner. So if you hold the home button for one second, it will lock your device. And if you hold it for one second, you can unlock your device. But for that, you need to have a fingerprint lock. Now you can do multi window on this device as well. Just by clicking the recent button, you can drag any app you want to the upper part and you can have multi window on this device. You can use two apps at the same time. Thanks a lot for watching, my name is Shaban. If you like this video then make sure you consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next video.